production Showing on this channel We're ready to enrich your soul and mind I'm sure you want to sit tight You can grab a friend or sister Before we dive inside I want to ask What will it cost you? To like, subscribe and share To family and friends Let them know the glory of the Lord It is right here Lives will be changed, there's no way you'll be the same But you have to do your part to take the link and share it now Subscribe and like So much you can't deny They'll keep you entertained And yet your life won't be the same It's time to shine your light You the lead the way you can My God, the season secret Will reward you in the open Sister, I hope you are here with the wedding gown for the final check. You know, you have to check it finally to know that it's in accordance with the church regulation in order to avoid embarrassment in your wedding day. I hope you both have been keeping your purity gown. And I hope you have not been touching yourselves. Yes, that reminds me. Hold oh, on. Ah, ah. So which of the question now do you want them to answer? Eh? Which of the questions? All of you have been asking questions since. You know that these young people are still growing. All they need from us is our prayers and our support. And none of us has even asked for their account number so that we can support them during this wedding. Exactly. Pius, I asked for your account number last Sunday so I can give you my support for this wedding. But up till now, you have not given me your account details. Hey, mm. uh, uh, you did? Yes. And Pius has not given you his account details? Uh, maybe he doesn't need the money. Where's my phone? Uh, I need the money. <laughs> of course, all of you know. You know that my daughter gained admission now. I mean, she's resuming school next week. I've been now. Hey, Dr. Riola, can I? <laughs> <laughs> ah. You see, you need to know that the closer you are to the date of your wedding, the more the temptation mm. for sleeping with each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to keep the person very very mm. That's very true. Especially now that you have less than two weeks to your wedding day. Yes. Because the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 4, that the marriage should be held in honor among all, and the bed should not be defiled. That's true. Because fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. Mm. That is true. That's true. Mm. No, you can uh, no, sit down. No, sit down. Thank you, sir. I want to use this opportunity to thank our wonderful pastor for everything he has done for us. Thank you for being a father and a mentor to us. Uh, we really appreciate. And mommy, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. 
and to the marriage uh, committee, uh, we, we can't thank you enough for all the things you've done, the counseling, the experience you've shared with us, the leadership, the biblical principles that you've shared with us on for this journey throughout our courtship um, journey. It, 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 it's something that we really appreciate. And it's a privilege for us to be a member of this church. And also, we, it, it is a large honor to be a member of this church. And we are happy and we will not put, will not, will not put this church to shame. Um, Ma, on the accommodation, I've been able to secure a three-bedroom flat. And by the special grace of God, I, Pius, and Aurelua, we have not touched ourselves. I will not do that to you, never. Actually, I trust both of you. I know you will not disappoint God, and you will not disappoint us in this church. God will bless and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Though it has not been easy, huh. but God has been faithful. By the special, by the special grace of God, we are... <clears throat> hope you are fine, Orolua. Are you okay? My daughter, you need to take things easy, eh? Don't stress yourself because of these wedding plans. God will provide everything that you need. Sir, the wedding gown is here. Has she been sick? No. Only when we were coming this morning, she said she has a slight headache. to see a doctor immediately. Pastor, I feel you are taking this matter for a new marriage too personal. Why shouldn't I take it personal for God's sake? Why shouldn't I take it personal? Of course you know that Oreolua and Pius are like Children to us in my family, especially when Oreolua lost the dad. More or less, my wife and I have 
adopted her. And uh, well, I don't know. Anybody that wants to feel anyhow, we can only pray for them. Yes, you are right, sir. Ah, yes, thank you. you are point, <laughs> but their wedding is personal to us. In my family, oh, it's very personal. And uh, we know that God will actually help them and honor them on that day in Jesus' name. Amen. Should I still send my account number? <laughs> Mommy, Pastor has not said anything since she came back. I'm dead fine. This person, Pius and Aurelua. I hope everything is okay. Oh, that's true. Yes. I'm afraid we may have to conduct another test on Aurelua. Ah, why? What did you say, Sam? But I thought they, they conducted a pregnancy and a test last month. Yeah. And see. Was good. Yes, yes. They have been yeah, yes. I remember that. So, with what I saw outside, I strongly suggest that we ask Orelua to go back to the hospital, to the church hospital, to conduct a pregnancy test. But uh, she, she, she's been in the same hospital to do the test the other time, and that was what she was saying. Honestly, I think it's time that we. Start trusting these children. Hmm? All they need, like I said earlier, is our prayers. I, I think it's high time we begin to give these this young people some time to breathe. All right? To avoid all this embarrassment and all of these things. Wait, uh, I don't know. So, but, okay, let me ask. What if she's not pregnant? And what if she's pregnant? I know what I saw. And I saw what I saw. Oh. All right, um, Orilua is not um, pregnant. The pregnancy test result is negative. Um, how was the test? What do you expect? At least, I should ask. It is negative. I'm sending my account number to you. No, you don't need to again now. At least I have the account before. Why do you want to send it again? I have it. That really was pregnant, and the trust he went to join them together. Hey, sister, talk me. Hey, <laughs> sister, talk me. Eh? God will forgive this your mouth in Jesus' name. How do you know she's pregnant? Hey, you see, my mother is a midwife in CAC Churcho, mm -hmm. and I have been working with her for about eight years now. So, with what I know. If I see a pregnant woman for just one day, one day, hmm. I will know she's pregnant. Oroluwa that I am seeing, that I saw, ah, she's pregnant for like three months. Huh? Okay. Your mom is a CSC midwife. I know. Okay. What if I tell you that my father is one of the marriage committee members? Oh. Mm. And a pregnancy test was conducted on her about um, less than two weeks before the marriage. And for your information, my dear sister, it was negative. Negative, sister Gbebun. Leave pregnancy test alone. Ah, ah. Leave pregnancy test alone. We are talking about experience here. <laughs> ah. Oroluwa that I saw. Oh. In about <laughs> six months. She'll give birth. 
Eh? Hey, my Leo, the executive president of Womb Watchers Association. Eh? Sister Kukbe, why can't you just mind your business for once and shut up? Eh? Shut up, shut up, shut up. I will soon leave this church for all of you. I hate gossiping with passion. Folake! Folake! Ma? Please come get the baby. Sorry. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Baby needs food. Ah. It's work, oh. <laughs> She eats every time. Yes. Uh, um, please come in. Please come in. Please come in. Ah. <laughs> ah. Wow. Ah. Ah. This is a beautiful ah. place. Ah. Welcome. Hi, Ross. Hello, mom. Please. Good evening, ma'am. Good time, Ah, We are pleased to see you. You're looking good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, see your face. Ah. <laughs> uh, this woman must really be taking care of you. Ah, no, she's doing. <laughs> yes. She's doing a good job. How are you? Fine, sir. Nice, Fine, sir. everything. Fine, sir. Lovely. Lovely. You have a very beautiful place. Thank you. Please have your seat. Thank you, sir. Wow. Wow. Nice. <laughs> you didn't tell us you are coming. No, we just to make a surprise. Um, ah. Actually, we would have been here before now, but uh, mom and I traveled. We had a ministration in Kotonu, so um, we came back yesterday. Okay. So Pleasure. we said uh, uh, we needed to come and see you. Actually, she was the one. Let me confess. She was the one that <laughs> told me that we must see you today. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh mom, yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's everything. See, Daddy, this, this is us. God has been faithful. No, yes, so this is Grace. It is, it is. So uh, where is our baby? Okay. Baby is inside. No, no, don't, don't, don't worry for now. Okay. Don't worry for now. We'll be praying for the baby later. Okay, uh, sir. So, but we have something that is very important to talk about. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, that's the picture of the baby. Yes. Ah, so I, pretty. Wow. Yes. Looks wow. Like yes, mommy. <laughs> but only took this picture. <laughs> Uh, so who will be coming to assist her? In fact, God bless us with the nanny. Mm -hmm. oh. She's inside. And mommy will be coming next week. Oh, your mom will be coming next week? Yes. Oh, that will be lovely. Yes. That will be lovely. Yes, sir. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah. <coughs> uh, actually, Propios, um, Orelua, as a pastor and a father to you, as you know, um, I will not pretend uh, that uh, we have not heard what everyone is talking about in the church. Um, you got married six months ago, yes, and now you have a baby six months after your wedding. And uh, I'm sure the baby is not premature. So. How did it happen? Yeah, I'm actually interested, very interested in the testimony. I'm sure it must have been a miracle. We are so sorry. Sorry about what? Forgive us. Hmm. We have sinned against God and the church. Pius, I don't understand what you are talking about. Actually, she wanted to confess. But I stopped there. At this point, we need to own up and confess. We've already sinned against God by fornicating. We don't need to add deception and lie to us. 
you, you, you're not getting my point. You, you're not getting my point. If we own up now, I am the choir leader. Do you know what? And I'm a social media celebrity. Do you know what blogger would? They will use me to shine. It will be a big, it will be a big shame. We are talking about sin against God. We are talking about church posts, social media status. If God is not pleased, does it matter who is pleased? I have told you over and over. I told you that we should get rid of this. Please, let's get rid of it. But you refuse. You refused. How can you be this wicked and callous? We already sinned by fornicating against God. Now, you want us to add another sin by killing an innocent baby? See, I will never do it. I'd rather go through this shame than sin against God. Oh, Lua, we have sinned already. We have sinned already. We have. We should be asking for mercy. I know I didn't sin. On sin. What if I die today? What if you die today? What will God tell us? See, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, so, so what do we do? I have an idea. What idea? Let's leave this place. I have an idea. Let's go. I don't think we should be having this conversation again. This is the second time you're asking me to do this dirty job. <laughs> oh, Yulua, I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Just save our... Our wedding is in two weeks. Save us from shame. So even if you, if, so even if you don't consider me, consider your sister. Eh? I can double the money that we paid last time. It's not actually bad money. It's not bad money. I'm just concerned. I'm concerned. If I were you, I would confess. I would confess. Pastor no go kill you now. I mean go kill you. Pastor no go kill you. Because I love my club life. I do it with myself. I know they pretend. I know they pretend. See. Let's let's leave that one for now. And let's face the issue at hand, please. Please. Pastor is expecting your sister this evening by 6 p.m. I beg you, just help and stand in for her. You, you know what will happen if you go. Things go cast. Yusuf, why go get Billy? Why go get Billy for married now? Just they fall my hand, honestly, they fall my hand anyhow. Nobody they preach to me say fornication, I be shame na immorality. Nobody they preach to me say immorality na sin. Eh? See, anything where you want to talk, it's okay. But I beg you, if you when you go to the hospital, please, no talk anything. Don't answer any of their questions. Nothing. Just, just, just act like say you know well. Like you're not feeling fine. <laughs> if you go talk anything, what is? You go bust, too. No, Allah. Hope you get your third dress. Where have you been? This is safe. Where have you been this morning? Where's uh, Bro Pius? He dropped you off or you came by yourself. <laughs> so suddenly you have become very sober. 
Abi, when they will be telling you to keep yourself pure, you won't listen. Damn them, but the test has not yet been carried out. Why all this now? I saw what I saw, and I know what I saw. Get into the car, let's go. Here's the result of the test. Well, the pregnancy test result is not um, positive. Doctor, we are not asking what the result is not. We are asking what the result is. All right. Um, Oriolua is not um, pregnant. The pregnancy test result is negative. Doctor, are you sure of this your test? Ah, damn it. What's the meaning of that question? You seem to be taking this matter too personal. Dr. Raymond has been practicing for the past 25 years. For crying out loud. Ah. I'm sorry. It's okay. Doctor, I'm sorry. It's just because I know I saw what I saw. See, what you saw is not relevant when we are talking about verified medical facts. Pastor Mrs. Ma, Horiloa is not pregnant. If you're in doubt, you may take the test in another hospital. Dr. Raymond, we are actually very sorry about this. Very, very sorry. See, we need to be taking it easy with this news. Our old school attitude is, is driving them away from the church. I'm sorry, darling. It's just because I know what I saw. This time, let's go. Oh my God. Kai! What kind of disciples are we raising today in the Church of Christ? Ha! Huh. To say I'm disappointed in both of you is, 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 is an understatement. Pastor, I'm so sorry. It's, it's all my fault. <laughs> I was the one that lured her into fornication. She made several attempts to talk to you about it. But I insisted she should not. Daddy. <laughs> Mommy. I was the careless one who visited him alone and lowered my guard. You, you have warned us several not to be together behind closed doors, but. But, but, but they didn't listen. They didn't listen. Huh? We mocked you and called you old school <laughs> because we thought that you were too strict with us. Hmm. But why did you confess, Brother Pius? <laughs> For me. I was afraid of losing my position in the church. I was afraid of the scandal that would be on social media. I was afraid that the church would cancel our wedding. Christ. 
The Bible says in 1 John 1 9 that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Also, in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13, the Bible says that he that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but he that confesseth and forsaketh shall have mercy. No matter how far you have gone away from God, you don't have to run away from Him. But rather, come to Him and He will have mercy. No, I, I, I don't get it. So are you trying to say you have a twin sister? Yes. And we didn't know anything about that. So where is she? I'm here, sir. Ah. I'm here, sir. My name is Oriolua. The twin sister of Oriolua. Oh, you're Oriolua? Yes, Oriolua. I've been listening to your conversations and I know you, Pastor. You know me? Yes, I do. I listen to your messages and I also follow you on YouTube, sir. The first time I wanted to give Jesus a try was when Mr. Pius approached me to, to stand in for my twin sister at the hospital. <laughs> to say I was surprised is an, is an understatement. That day, they made me believe that all Christians, including your pastor, are pretenders. So I continued with my wayward life, even though the feeling of emptiness never left me. Ah, <sighs> God. But, but, but with what I've heard you and your wife say today, I believe you are genuine Christians. So, Oruluwa, with all you have seen and heard today, are you ready to give your life to Jesus? Yes, that's why I came out. I want to have an encounter with Jesus. I heard so much about Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So you are ready to give your life to Christ? Yes. So if you don't mind, just can go on your knees and let us pray. I want us to begin to talk to God right now. And uh, let's start with you, Oreluwa, right? Yes, sir. So now just um, ask God to forgive you all the sins that you have committed against Him, ask Him to show you mercy. Our God is rich in mercy. Our God is merciful. Ask Him. No matter how far you have gone into the war, God is here to show mercy. Jesus Christ came to set the captive free. Ask him to forgive you everything that you have done against you. And right now, I want you to do something. The Bible says, with our heart we believe unto righteousness, but with our mouth we make confessions unto salvation. So, can you just pray this prayer with me? I want you to confess Jesus with your mouth as your Lord and Savior. Can you say, my Heavenly Father? My Heavenly Father. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. For all the sins I have committed against you. For all the sins I have committed against you. Today, today, I come to you. I come to you. Forgive me today. Let my name be written in the book of life. Let my name be written in the book of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I commit this your daughter into your hands and I pray that uh, the miracle of salvation, Jehovah Lord, that has happened in her life today will remain permanent. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let her be as wide as snow in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will keep you till the very end of your life in Jesus' mighty name. Now, Oreluwa and Pius, I want you to begin to talk to God, ask Him to forgive you. You are sinned against Him. You, you see, see, if, if not for Jesus that just came in through for us today, 
I mean, you, you, were, you were blocking your twin sister from coming to the light of Jesus Christ because you were not representing him well. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank God you still have life. Ask him to forgive you. Tell him that you are sorry. Tell him to show you mercy. That every curse be removed. In the mighty name of Jesus. In every way you have disappointed God and the body of Christ. Ask God to forgive you right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, talk to God. It doesn't matter what I see around me, I have made up my mind. Hey, 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 hey. I will shout it on the rooftop, make everybody hear. Say, yo, oh, I've made a commitment to my Lord and Savior. You're the one I'll leave for no matter the cost It seems it's getting harder with a wave of perversion But this is my resolution, No, oh yeah I will be strong, I will stay pure My body is God's temple I know go do I'm jaga jaga for I am a light to my generation And I'm not going to hide it I shout it on the rooftop Make everybody here say yo oh, oh. From everything we be like the fish on run away Run away Don't let the devil tell you you gotta stay For by the grace of God we don't savvy how the devil they walk it. Oh yeah come on did I oh. Shahobi ring, Shahobi ring I take on your head Take up your armor Fight like the soldier that you are For God has given us victory yeah, yeah. No, this It's is not by power yeah. It's not by might By my spirit says the Lord By my spirit says the Lord yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be strong I will stay pure My body is so simple I do what do I'm jaga jaga for I am a light to my generation And I'm not going to hide it I shall be done Shout it on the rooftop, make everybody here say, oh, oh, oh.